Bullet trains, also known as high-speed rail, because they have a top speed of 300 kilometers per hour. India has been working on implementing bullet trains as a mode of transportation in recent years. Japan has brought the bullet train to the country and put it in the whole country. If you want to make the network of today, if you want to make it more modern, then we can give a new journey to Hindustan. The Indian government plans to build a network of bullet trains that will connect major cities across the country. But is such an expensive and ambitious project good or bad for India? That's the core question. Let's find out. Hello and welcome to The Core Questions. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Project, which was first announced in 2017, it's anticipated that the 508 km railway, which will include 12 stations, will cut the distance between Mumbai and Ahmedabad from 7 hours to just 2. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail project is being implemented by the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited, a company set up by the Indian government. A combination of public and private investments are being used to fund the project, with the majority of the money coming from Japan's SoftBank Group and the Japan International Cooperation Agency. The Indian government has also made plans for a number of other bullet train projects, including routes between Delhi and Mumbai, Mumbai and Chennai, and Mumbai and Kolkata. These initiatives are in addition to the Mumbai Ahmedabad route. Although these projects are still in planning and feasibility study stages, when finished they will significantly increase connectivity and shorten travel times between India's major cities. One of the key benefits of bullet trains is their speed and efficiency. Thanks to their sophisticated infrastructure which includes specialized rails and signaling systems, these trains are able to go at great speeds. Additionally, they can travel vast distances quickly, which makes them a practical choice for travelers and commuters. In addition to their speed, bullet trains are also known for their safety and reliability. The Shinkansen network in Japan is empirical proof of this. Ever since bullet trains began in 1964, the Shinkansen has had zero fatalities, and even better, the delay record of Shinkansen is less than one minute. In addition to this, bullet trains are able to carry heavier weights than normal trains and are also eco-friendly because they don't require deforestation to set tracks. They have a strong safety record as well, with a low incidence of accidents compared to other modes of transportation. They are also able to operate in a variety of weather conditions, making them a reliable option for travelers. Another advantage of bullet trains is their environmental benefits. High-speed rail is a much more environmentally friendly option compared to air travel or driving as it produces significantly fewer emissions. This makes it a good choice for those who are concerned about the impact of their travel on the environment. While bullet trains have many benefits, they do come with some challenges. One of the main challenges is the cost of building and maintaining the necessary infrastructure including tracks, stations and signaling systems. This can be a significant financial burden for the government and private companies involved in the projects. Laying a bullet train corridor comes to approximately 100 crore rupees per kilometer and the Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail is 508 kilometers. This cost does not include installing necessary signals and rolling rock which can raise the price up to 115 crore rupees per kilometer. And if the construction cost is so high, the fares of these trains would be high as well. According to media reports, a one-way fare on the Mumbai Ahmedabad route is projected to be around 5,000 rupees. This is hugely high for the masses to be able to afford in India. A flight ticket on average between Mumbai Ahmedabad is between two to 3,000 rupees. This means that instead of alleviating transportation issues, a bullet train could potentially further widen the rich poor gap and would not be feasible if it doesn't alleviate congestion and commute issues. The other thing to consider is that these considerations are not just for India. France, Taiwan and South Korea are among the nations that have high-speed rail in operation, but they're still having viability issues. Argentina decided to change its entire railway network to medium-speed infrastructure after abandoning high-speed rail because the return on investment did not justify expenditures. Perhaps the most daunting challenge for India is the acquisition of land for the construction of tracks and stations. The process of purchasing property for bullet train projects has in the past encountered considerable resistance, and this is a situation where land acquisition could be a contentious problem. 
Although the government has taken steps to lessen the impact on local communities and pay people impacted by these projects, these matters can nevertheless give rise to disagreements. The Indian government is committed to providing the nation with bullet trains as a mode of transportation, though, despite these obstacles. Under PM Narendra Modi, work on the Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail project is well underway, and the government has also unveiled plans for a number of other routes. If these initiatives are a success, bullet trains might significantly increase connectivity and cut down on travel times between India's major cities. Leave your comments below and also be sure to like and share this video. Thanks for tuning in to The Core Questions and catch the latest episode of Tuesday and Thursday of every week. Until next time, this is Priyanka Deo signing off. Namaste.